Welcome back to another video. We're on our way to the post office right now. We've got a ton of packages to drop off. A lot of orders going out. And actually, starting today until the upcoming weekend, every $1 is now 10 entries. So it's another bonus period, but this one, again, it is only for this week and then it will not come back. After this weekend, 10X entries are done. They're gone. Right now, go to lmpgear.com and every $1 is 10 entries to win our 97 Power Stroke. Anyways, we're on our way right now to go and pick up one of the Whistling Diesel trucks. You may know which one it is by the title and thumbnail. That's where we're headed right now. I'm not sure what we're gonna capture for video, but hopefully it's a good time. Uh -huh. You know how many second gens I have seen that happen to? Didn't that happen to your dad's truck too? Yeah. And it happened to mine, my red maroon one, but it didn't it didn't like go up all the way and smack, but apparently when the guys were taking it from the oil change to go do the alignment, the hood didn't the fault, get latched. Yeah, the fault was the third. So yeah, the away. hood didn't get latched right, because you really gotta slam those second gen hoods sometimes, but like the hood didn't get latched properly, and then it just, it like just came up. Like he was going like 35 miles an hour, hit a pothole apparently, and it like it came undone too, and it just like bounced up just enough to kind of like strain the hinges and bend the hood a little bit but then it just went right back down. But they bought new hinges and redid it all. I was with my aunt the other day, same thing happened. Old guy going down the street and hood just goes, and just smacks the freaking windshield. Say it, Nothing. say it. <laughs> just like she's, she's like making fun of me because I'm like a little bit nervous. Cause like, you know, it's like, I've been doing YouTube for like years. I'm proud of where I've gotten, but then I'm like, you just don't know, like, is he gonna film something? Am I gonna look like a complete idiot? These are very valid questions. I don't know why you think it's so funny. This is a very serious thing. This could make or break everything right now. <laughs> I just don't know what to expect. But we're about to pull up, so we'll see what happens. Whatever happens, happens. No going back now. Totally seeing this truck for the first time. Well, not really. Like, like I for, saw it on TV a well, lot of times. Well, not oh, computer, that's true. Phone, phone, tablet, uh, iPad. Oh wow. Well, that stance. Hardly, but. <laughs> Heck yeah. yeah. He did a good job with this one. Oh, you mean a good job not actually destroying this yeah, one? Probably. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Half butt except this part. Yeah, this is probably this is like the best. The this best, is like first class right there. Best spot of the truck. It actually doesn't look that bad. Like if you look at the pinstriping, that's the best looking part. That's good. Yeah, it looks great. F-150 seats in here. Oh yeah. If you're wondering, the seat does not work. <laughs> no, but the seats are nice. Yeah. Oh, the, seat, the seats are awesome and the power works. Power seats. Power seats saying? work, yeah. It's crazy. It rides good though. It rides real good. There it is. The first gen man. This is crazy. Just thinking about the fact that I just bought this truck is insane. Like partially, part of me is like, it's just another $25,000 truck. We bought a lot of them. But the fact that this is the $25,000 truck that so many people have their eye on, and I was the one that was lucky enough to make the purchase, just crazy to me. So I guess what I'm gonna do is show you guys around the truck a little bit better. Kind of end it out with my thoughts and experience of going to pick this truck up. For the most part is, well, Grasshopper flew right into the lens. For the most part, super clean. A couple of little flaws, just like pen striping, peeling, and that's about the worst of it. Some rubbing here. Kind of kind of buckled the fender a little bit in that spot, but nothing bad. And I have a really good paint guy, so that's not an issue. But for the most part, the truck is super freaking clean though. I mean it's uh it's really, really squeaky clean. And he said that uh honestly. He's gonna miss the wheels more than the truck. But to be honest, the thing handles really, really good. I mean, the thing is clean. Oh yeah, and check out the bed. Oh yeah, he gave me some stocks too, but check out the bed, look how clean this bed is. And I'm gonna talk about, uh, I'm gonna talk about that here in a sec. I'm gonna make this short and simple. 
and give you my honest feedback because I'm sure there's a lot of people that would love to meet Whistle and Diesel just to hear him out, kind of see how he is in person and like their thoughts on him and whatever. This is what I will tell you about my experience. We didn't like talk a lot. I'm not going to lie and act like we had this crazy deep conversation. We were just going back and forth forever. It didn't happen. It was kind of like I got there, made sure that the truck was clean, which I'll touch on for a second. We went for a quick drive in the dually. We got back. He just told me a few things about the truck and anything that was a little bit weird or funny about it, he told me exactly what it was up front and I just pointed out a few things and said, hey, it is what it is, here's the things, this is what I know about it, enjoy. You know what I mean? Like, just have a good time. Let me tell you a little bit about like their operation in the vibe that I picked up. It's kind of funny because I talked to I think his name is Clayton and Jason. They were the ones that I talked to when I first got there because they were out there moving the trucks around, getting stuff cleaned up. When I talked to them, they had like such a great respect for Cody and it was just kind of like neat to see like they respect his operation and what he wants done and his like it's done around the trucks and everything to be just like kept top notch just to make sure everything is like clean and neat and it's really kind of funny because even Jason said this he's like dude he's like you wouldn't think this because of what we do for content but he's like Cody's very particular about having everything clean. Like, really, he's like, yeah, he's like, a couple times a week, we're cleaning trucks. And I thought that was kind of a funny, funny thing. And that's why I showed you the bed. I said, look how clean the truck bed is. If you saw his video with the, the flowers and the dirt and stuff in the bed, I can put one deer that I shot in deer season in the bed and somehow my bed is completely trashed and I never want to have it cleaned again. This bed is so squeaky clean. I can't even, I can't, but you would never know it was completely filled with dirt. Like you could get away with saying, Thing was never never used the bed it's so clean like whatever you could get away with it with how clean this thing is the reason i'm bringing that up is because it's funny how neat and clean they try to keep stuff given that for content most of the time it's keeping everything filthy and destroyed like it's completely contradicting but like it makes sense and like when i got there even jason and clayton like cleaning the truck it was kind of cool because like i was like dude no 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 it's not a big deal he's like no we want to make sure that it's clean for you like we want to make sure we do a good job and get this thing cleaned up for you if you're going to do any videos i was like no it's not a big deal and they're like no we want to clean this truck we want to make sure you have a clean truck and i'm like thank you you know what i mean like it was just kind of like one of those things where like them making sure that we were taken care of was super important to make sure that like there was no bad experience whatsoever and there was nothing bad to speak of like it was just important to provide like a good quality interaction and service shocking because like when you watch the videos and stuff and you look at how goofy they are you wouldn't think that but it's just part of like the entertainment but believe it or not they pay attention to detail a lot more than you would think once you're in person you realize like okay there's an entertainment side of them and then there's a this is business keep things nice treat people nice that type of side of things and it's like it's really it was really cool to see unfortunately we couldn't get a lot of video with cody just because of the fact that the dually first off inside of it is so freaking loud that truck is so loud and then in terms of this truck they were getting things cleaned up and they had stuff going on and he's like hey if you bring the truck back next weekend when you pick up the dually if you bring that truck back we can get a video then and we'll and, you know we'll make a funny video but other than that they just they had stuff going on and they had to get going great experience nothing bad to say nothing bad to speak of it was awesome it it was cool just like it kind of seemed like unreal at the moment because like because i don't watch every video of his but i've seen quite a few of them and like i follow him on instagram and stuff and it's just kind of funny because like i've been seeing his post and stuff since he was like probably at like 50,000 followers at the time like i never would have saw myself buying one of his trucks or two, let alone two of his trucks but hopefully guys are ready for some of the content with this truck i know a lot of you guys watching right now are probably from his channel from his fan base please subscribe that would be awesome but if you don't want to obviously then you don't want to hopefully you guys decide to stick around and watch the videos we're hoping to do a lot of content with this truck and the dually when we go to pick it up next weekend so stay tuned we post monday through friday sometimes on the weekends just kind of depends how busy we get thank you so much i'll catch you in the next video peace it's so funny because see all the smoke well people keep driving by to uh say hi now that they see the truck they must think that it's cody out here with the truck